Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. My name is Nuruziwati binti Kamaruzaman from Polytechnic Sultan Azlan Shah. Today, I'm going to present a paper on analyzing the notion of the student-centered learning in the assessments of Malaysian Polytechnic English language courses. I have divided my presentation to six parts. Let's take a look for the first. Curriculum is designed to cultivate the four C's in our education system in order to fulfill the society and workforce needs. However, the traditional teacher-centered approach, which have long been practiced in the education system, is not supporting the vision of the education. In order to fulfill the current demand, the direction of education has been changed to student-centered learning. In Polytechnic, the curriculum for English courses has been designed using the approach of student-centered which is evident in the structure of its assessment. This is to develop students' speaking skills to enable them to communicate effectively and confidently in group discussions and in a variety of social interactions. However, the extent of student-centered approach implementation of this English course is yet to be studied by any researchers. Past studies have shown various findings on student-centered learner. For example, Melinda Koch 2011 mentioned in order to fully participate in today's global community, students must also master in the four C's, which are creativity, critical thinking, communication and collaboration. Al Hunaidi et al. 2012 felt that constructivism theory is the learning concept in which students construct their own knowledge through their personal experience. This is supported by Zohra B. et al. 2012. Student-centered learning becomes a pioneer of development of learning approach. Melissa Shuki, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Saifu Bahri and Hairunizam 2012 mentioned that Student-centered learner helps students to focus on active process learning that emphasizes on deep learning and understanding, increased responsibility, accountability, and autonomy in the learner. Weimer 2012 and Jones 2012 agreed that students' need and abilities are all driven by what students learn, how they learn it, and how their learning is assessed in a student-centered classroom. Moreover, students need to act proactively in the learning process and not respond passively to lectures. Instead, they need to communicate uh, and get all the necessary information needed. The second part, characteristics and methods of student-centered learning. Student-centered teaching is an approach to teaching that is increasingly being encouraged in education. Student-centered teaching focuses more on the process of learning compared to listening instructions only. There are few characteristics and approach discussed by the researchers. These are the, full, these are the examples. Okay. First, focus is on both students and instructor. Focus is on language use in typical situation. Instructor models students interact with instructor and one another. Students work in pairs, in groups, or alone depending on the purpose of the activity. Students talk without constant instructor monitoring. Students answer each other's questions using instructor as an information resource. Students have some choice of topics autonomy. Students evaluate their own learning instructors. instructors also evaluate. Course content is still introduced and utilized but in a more individualized way. Explicit skills instruction, students learn how to think, solve problems, decision making, teamwork, evaluate, evidence, analyze, arguments, generate hypotheses, independent learning and self-directed learning, and lastly, teacher-student collaboration. The third part is the research objective. Uh, this paper aims to analyze the notion of student-centered in the assessment of English language courses of Malaysian Polytechnic. The next part is the research methodology. The research methodology employed in this research is document analysis. The document obtained were analyzed in a few stages. 
Firstly, the literature pertaining to uh, student-centered learning was as main. Details related to the characteristic of student-centered learning notion were depicted and transferred into a checklist. Next, the researchers have examined the syllabus, course outline, rubrics and assessment instructions. Then the researchers identified the matching distinctive element in the assessment according to the checklist prepared. Finally, the, da the data were reviewed and concluded. Okay, moving on to findings and discussions of the analysis. Using the checklist in the previous table, the criteria of student-centered learning, learner. The results of document analysis is presented in the following table 1.2, 1.3 and 1.4. Table. This is the table of 1.2 results of analysis for DUE 10012 uh, Communicative English 1. Okay, for this table, uh, surprisingly for CLO 1 group discussion and CLO 2 test and assignment assessment, it was found that only 50% and 42% of SCL characteristic respectively. However, for CLO3, oral presentation, a notable score of 83% was evident. This is because most of the characteristics of SCL were met for this assessment and the only criteria that need to be improved um, need to be improved were item number 9 and number 12. The lacking in item number 3, 5, 8, 9, 11 and 12 for CLO1 group discussion and item number 3, 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9 and 12 for CLO2 uh, which, is a test and as, which are test and assignment Assessments indicated that the existing assessment were not allowing the instructor model, student autonomy, peer review and uh, teacher-student collaboration. This is due to the nature uh, of this course as an introductory course, which only assess the basic language skills of the students and the traditional teacher method is still practiced throughout the assessment. Next is the table of 1.3 results of analysis for DUE 30022. CLO1 uh, presentation showed the highest percentage, which is 67%. This is expected because most of the characteristics of student centered learner were met for this assessment, and only few items, namely number 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 and 12 need to be enhanced for CLO2 uh, which are test and assignment and CLO3 uh, which is a role play assessment it was revealed that only 42% and 50% of criteria of SCL were matched similar to the previous finding for DUE10012 just now for this course it was also found that it lacks instructor model uh, student anatomy, peer review, and teacher-student collaboration. This is because the implementation of the assessment still employing traditional teacher-centered approach. Table 1.4, uh, results of analysis for DUE 50032, Communicative English 3. The assessment for this uh, course consists of presentation, Test assignment 1, which is resume, assignment 2, cover letter, and also mock interview. Based on the review, we can see uh, that the assessment for CLO1 indicated a significant presence of uh, SCL characteristic. 83% of the criteria can be observed in the assessment. In this, uh, this CLO involves an assessment related to oral presentation and survey. Therefore, students were highly uh, involved in completing the assessment with the minimal guidance from the uh, lecturer. Assessment for CLO2 indicated minimal presence of SEL uh, element, which is only 33%. Uh, CLO3 was assessed via, via, via mock interview. Okay, this assessment shows 
uh, a fairly moderate influence of SCL elements, okay, which 58% uh, match. Okay, overall, we can see that there were some of the uh, student centered learner uh, characteristics were not present in the assessment design. Item number six, seven, eight, 12, and 12 are the SEL criteria were not incorporated in the assessment. The researchers believe this could be uh, due to the nature of instructions given or the tasks assigned for the assessment. In addition, um, students' proficiency might also influence okay, the lecturer in executing the assessment since a low proficiency students might require more guidance as compared to moderate and high proficiency students. As a conclusion, it was found that Malaysian Polytechnic English courses are still not fully adopting the student-centered learning. The obvious characteristic which was missing from the three English courses analyzed was teacher-student collaboration. Efforts must be done to include this characteristic in the assessments and insert other lacking prominent characteristics of SCL, such as uh, instructor model, student autonomy and peer review. That's all from me. Thank you very much.